Hey guys, it's been out in the last part. We uh, we walked up. In this part, we're in Floorama Town. I always pronounce it badly. It's Floorama. It's like aroma, but it's like flow, so it's flow aroma. Um, so yeah, uh, there's no gym in this place. In fact, it's gonna be a while before we even get to the next city. Um, and all of a sudden, my Pokemon native Barry. Oh. Anyway, we're kind of close, but turn the city, we're still far away. Oh gosh, yeah, we're way far away. Say for a kid like you, okay, I'm sure. Uh, but there's one big mechanic that we're gonna introduce in this. Uh, in this town, um, as you can see, there is a flower garden, and there's actually two main mechanics. First thing are berries. This we're gonna actually introduce them. You can find them in soil patches like this. Uh, this is actually a concept uh, carried over from uh, uh, Ruby and Sapphire, except that one was a bit annoying. Uh, so anyway, yeah, if you plant a berry, um, it'll uh, it'll grow and stuff. Uh, Anyway, a single berry will grow into a plant. Uh, now, now over time, oh, she gives you a chest of berry. Uh, so berries do different things. Um, now she could give you accessories. You know, to put in your fashion case for all the chick accessories. I think it's accessories. Um, by the way, this person gives you the spray duck, which is like a, the whale of pail. Uh, and it's basically just a watering pail, so you can water plant. Uh, water berries and stuff if you want to grow more. Uh, now, yeah, if you grow them for too long, they'll actually fall off, but they'll land back in the soil again and then start to grow again. It's just so you have to wait more. Now, this person's going to give you pluck. Yay! I don't think that's going to be a good move, though. Anyway. And one day, someone expresses the blessings of nature, and then everything bursts into bloom. Aw, oh, magical story. Uh, I got drawn here by the sweet scent. One of my Pokemon or something? Mmm, honey. Oh, come on. The atmosphere is so uplifting. Sure. Aren't we Team Galactic? And we're assigned here? Standing around among flowers, that doesn't seem cool. Hey now, don't complain, that's a pretty decent assignment. But bug and grass type Pokemon so creep me out, I don't like being here either. So, uh, we got some grunts up there. We're gonna have to deal with them a bit later. Uh, I, I thought it would be introduced this part, but I guess there's something in the way, and we're gonna have to do something else in front of it, which means that I'm gonna have to scroll down in my notes. I've got my notes on screen next to the game, if you're wondering, so yeah. And I've written up these notes so I can actually tell you some stuff about the game. And not like I need help with the game, like I just... Although, although it gives me a good chance to explain, uh things and it's also good so I can actually pick which Pokemon I want to I want to get on on the spot like for example I don't think I wanted to get a Shinx um, straight away Ow. Uh, but yeah yeah I've got one and it's probably gonna be in my ending team anyway here's Route 205 we're not gonna be in here for long but there's two Pokemon that you can get in here please can you get my papa he works in the Valley Windworks but they're dressed like spacemen and you can't proceed upwards, so... Now there's two new Pokemon you can get here, but also we're in the Valley Windworks, where you can also get another Pokemon. Uh, you can also get those same Pokemon. So anyway, we've got Buzel. Buzel is a good... has good speed and pretty good uh, physical attack when he evolves uh, into Floatzel, but he's kind of bad in defense. But other than that, he's pretty average. Um, and then there's Shellos. Shellos is one as two alternate forms, so that's going to be a bit weird, but they're both exactly the same. They're just... You know, look different. Uh, Shellos has some pretty good HP, learns some good moves, uh, and he's pretty decent in the special sets, but he isn't too great by the end of the game. But I don't know, if you want a water type, it's pretty cool. Don't you dare go into Valley Windworks! You're giving me that look. Okay, you'll battle me! Anyway, we're in the Valley Windworks. Um, and here is uh, Galactic Grunt. Yeah, we're gonna have to infiltrate and defeat Team Galactic. Now this is Glamiel. You're gonna see Glamiel a lot in uh, with Team Galactic. Uh, Glamiel is just normal type. He's a pretty fast Pokemon, but and he levels pretty quickly. You know, fast. And here's Fake Out. Here's that move that instantly attacks first and flinches you no matter what. Oh, what a coincidence! I flinched. Um, yeah, uh, he levels pretty quickly, being in the fastest uh, experience group. 
but he's a pearl exclusive, which means you can only get him in Pokemon Pearl. So if you want to get him in Diamond, sorry, no bad luck, you have to get him online or find a friend. Uh, he's also kind of average uh, in his stats, but a uh, pretty decent level five. I don't know. I, I, I think Biddle's pretty good cool too. Look at that tail! Like, whoa! So anyway, this guy has, you know. Glammeow. So I anyway, shakes his level 15, you know what that means? I didn't actually think this would be my first evolution, but I spoiled it, didn't I? Shanks is evolving! Do 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 I got the... Yeah, my, my cohort's in the flower patch. Kachunk. You lock the door. So, anyway, this is a honey tree. We'll get talking about it a bit later, because we just gotta fight a few guys in front. Uh, so yeah, anyway, um... Evolution changes the stats of your Pokemon. Um, it, like, increases them, so... So stuff will happen, like, for example... Well, but they're just general improvements. I'll, I'll show up his base stats, because I'm... Oh, gosh, they're gone. Uh... I'll show up his base stats, because that'll, that'll show you the improvement, uh, over the other guys. You're not bothering! I don't know about that sweet honey! Do as we say, Team Galactic will have that honey! We must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers! Hey, this kid is a witness! What will we do? We don't need the brat running off to get help. The solution is simple. We ensure the brat is killed! Ah, so anyway, yeah. Uh, so now we're gonna fight them! Anyway, it's just a single battle, but, you know, here's Luxio. Luxio is a better Pokemon. Which means we can bite harder. Which means Luxio is going to be actually pretty strong now. If you're wondering when's Toad, we're going to evolve next level. I'm just holding it off because I don't want to get Luxio the same level. Now, they're going to fully evolve uh, around the same time. Like, a bit, a bit more closer together, like level 30 and 32, that's I think, you know, Luxio and Tertwig. Uh, sorry, what was that, Silcoon? Ah uh, yes, yeah, Silcoon! Well, he's the evolution of Wurmple, or uh, one of them. You see, uh, Silcoon evolves only in the day, uh, when you hit level 7, so depends when you are. Uh, now, he only learns Harden if you catch him as Silcoon, so he's really useless. Okay? Now, and his evolution, Beautifly. Beautifly is just kind of okay, not too good, but not too bad. This is why I'm gonna be stuck in the ground forever. Uh, I don't know, Beautifly is a bit o on the okay side, so I wouldn't recommend- This is so lame, they're gonna dock my pay! I'm up next! Battling you right Oh no, we got another guy. Thing. Anyway, this guy is not too bad as well. You know why? Because he's only got a Zubat. Now Zoop actually will learn fight. Uh, plus this guy's actually kind of okay level, you know, level 11, but... You know, we're level 15, like, dude, jeez. Dude, oh my gosh, you have to be kidding, you are a weakling, Zubat. Oh no, they're gonna dock my pay too! If only I had some decent Pokemon. If only I wasn't restricted to using all the okay ones at lower levels. This rat's tough. Like, really tough. Tougher than I could put in words. I know a lot of words. Let's go back. Okay. Oh, what's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it. It's a works key. It must have... Oh, my gosh. What a coincidence. Uh, so yeah, we got the works key. Thank you, you surely saved me. Though they were trying to rob me of my sweet, sweet honey. They were weird, though. You see how they were dressed? What they were saying didn't make a lot of sense either. Oh, I'll thank you. Here's some honey. Honey is an item that you can use on honey trees, and it will attract Pokemon. There are a, f um, a few type of Pokemon that you can find on it, uh, and most of them are exclusive to the honey tree, so 
It's uh, and and you also you will get a few bad Pokemon on the Honey Tree. Uh, so anyway, so we'll slather the bark with honey. Um, now you now what you gotta do is you have to wait and wait and wait until that honey tree until a Pokemon actually grabs onto a honey tree. Now I'll talk about the Pokemon you'll find on it. Now in Floorama Town, Floorama, uh, I've actually on the sidebars. That's actually the Pokemon you'll find there. Now it's four trees in the entire game are randomly picked. There's 21 trees in total. Four of them are picked, or five. I don't know. I don't know. One of those. Um. Yeah. Uh. And and four of those trees are specifically picked to be a Munchlax tree. Now Munchlax is the best Pokemon in the game, but he's also my favorite Pokemon, so I'm a bit biased towards him. But um. But Munchlax is a really good Pokemon. Now the thing is that some of the some of the um. So you see the hunt. Munchlax next to the honey pot, uh, honey jar, um, yeah, that, that's the specific Munchlax honey tree. Now, I'll basically just be talking about Munchlax, 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 um, so yeah, anyways, since that specific honey tree, yeah, all the, all the percentage rates of the Pokemon actually appearing kind of messed up. Anyway, so I'll talk about the Pokemon, um, as we're continuing on. Uh, so the first one we'll find is Apom. Apom's pretty okay in his attack, but he's over, but he's average overall. He evolves into an average Pokemon, and he requires a move to evolve, and that's kind of annoying. Heracross is a really good Pokemon. He's got some excellent attack. He's great overall, and he learns some pretty cool moves. He doesn't evolve though, but he's and he's a bit weak in the end. But he's a really cool Pokemon. Anyway, Cascoon. Here's also the other evolution. Look, did I write Cascoon twice? I meant Dust. No. Yeah, um, sorry. Cascoon, he's exactly the same as Silcoon, except you evolve him at the night. Uh, his evolution, Dustox, Dust is a bit better than Beautified, but not too much. I'm gonna open the door. Kachunk! The door's open. Uh, we got Burmy, uh, his evolution. Well, what the key? No way, locking the door is meaningless. I'm gonna inform the commander. Uh, anyway, uh, Wormida Burmy, his evolution, Wormadam. Uh, only if he's a female, otherwise, he evolves into Mothum. Wormadam's kind of cool in defense, and Mothum's pretty good, pretty decent in physical, but uh, Burmy himself, he's really weak and he barely learns anything. Then you got Combi. Combi has some pretty cool, uh, pretty good defense when he evolves uh, into Vespiquim, but only. But, you know, he's he only evolves when a female combi, uh, with a female combi, and also it's kind of hard to get a female. Uh, he's also really weak at first, and he only learns three moves, so he's really bad. And then there's Munchlax, he's got insanely high HP, he's a really good physical attack, he's got great special defense, he's got some really awesome moves, but he's a bit weak on the physical defense side, and he's so slow, and also he's so rare. Like, 1% chance on the 4 of 21 honey trees in the game that are randomly selected. So, as you can tell, it's really hard to get Munchlax. Now, we're just gonna end off this part by finding, up, finding this one guy. I am full around here, this is how a professional does it! Yeah, um... <coughs> uh, so anyway, yeah, um, this guy has a Cascoon in action! Cascoon looks like Silcoon! Seriously! If you're wondering, those sprites on the bios are actually from black and white, so that's why they may look a bit different. Um. Oh no! He's a biting me! Bite that bug! Bite him! Ah, uh, yep, see? Only knows hard. Or he might possibly know another move, but I don't know. I don't know, unfortunately, Bulbapedia only has the move sets of the important boss battles, such as one coming up, and not the gym move. So anyway, we got a critical, which we may as well take out the other collector as well. Anyway, Luxio is level 16! Yeah, so I'm sorry I just stuffed you guys with information just then, but... But, uh... Yeah, but, you know, honey trees are important. Like, you may, you can get any one of them, it's just random chance. Uh, so yeah, there's a guy here, so we may as well. Collecting electricity from the Valley Windwork, that's our mission. We're going green! Well, at least... I don't know, what's wrong with... Actually, I, I do know what's wrong with it, they're stealing over a... Uh, power plant. Uh, in order to get power. 
Yeah, it's kind of like a... I think they took over a power plant in a double server. They took... They, they had all the underground thing and they were using ele uh, electrodes as electricity, which is pretty weird. Yeah, they were using Pokemon for electricity. People are Uh, so yeah, anyway, Wurmple and Glamour are both level 10. By this stage, yeah, I don't know if you're gonna be having trouble at all with just fighting these guys, but... But, you know, they're, they're just weak. Uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be enough. Luxio, yeah. I really don't like the kids, but also happen to be tough trainers. We got 400 bucks. So anyway, I'm gonna end this off next part. In the next, I'm gonna end this off this part, but also in the next part, we're gonna be fighting big trainers, and we're hopefully gonna be finding stuff. Okay, see you guys.